if you're anything like me, you might have been looking for the best induction cooktop for off-grid living, which was something to be energy efficient and to match my cooking abilities on the stovetop from home. And I can confidently say that I have found the best one. This right here is the New Wave Precision Induction Cooktop Flex. Once I had gotten myself a solar generator, I would realized just how much household items completely deplete the battery of my solar panel generator. So with all that being said, let's take a look at the features of this device. You can choose the stove top to use either 600 watts, 900 watts, or 1300 watts per hour. Unlike other stoves or cooktops, this has an induction heater, meaning that it delivers heat through an electromagnetic energy, turning the pan itself into its own heat source. In other words, heat transfers much faster and is 60% more energy efficient than gas burners. Not only is it more energy efficient, but it also has a wide range of temperatures so that you can finely tune to get the perfect pancakes of your choice. You can change them in 10 degrees increments from 100 degrees to 500 degrees Fahrenheit. If you want a nice sear on your steak, you can do exactly that. And if you just want to use preset temperatures, they have six different choices for you. Or if you want, you can change the presets to whatever you'd like. Another great thing about induction cooktop is that you can trap all of the smells of your delicious meals inside of your car, unlike fuel stoves. So you don't have to crack a window or go outside in order to cook your meals. Additionally, if the pan had fallen off the cooktop and your face had touched the cooktop, the heat wouldn't transfer. It would sense that the pan was removed in just one second and would shut down. Cooktop also has features such as a timer that can delay the startup of the cooktop, or if you get really specific with your cooking and want to set a timer to boil just for five minutes and then reduce the temperature to 200 degrees Fahrenheit for 15 minutes, you are able to pre-program each step of that before you start your cooking so you won't have to change the temperatures when you finally remember to turn down the heat. Additionally, on the bottom, there are rubberized feet to prevent it from slipping around, but unfortunately, those feet won't be holding your pan, so you won't be able to cook while you're driving. Finally, this device has air vents beneath it in order to eliminate overheating. So now that we have covered all of the features, let's take a look at the specs. The surface of the cooktop is heat resistant glass to stay cool to the touch and be cleaned with a damp cloth or soapy water. The dimensions of this product is 10 inches in length, 12 and a half inches in width and two and a half inches in height. The total weight is nine pounds and the wattage used varies from 600, 900 and 1300 watts as I stated earlier in the video. And finally, the maximum amount of hours you can set on the timer is 99 hours and 60 minutes. So if you even wanted, you could use this induction cooktop as a slow cooker. So now that we have covered all the features, all the specs, let's move on to the testing of this device. We're gonna go ahead and make some chocolate chip pancakes with a side of some turkey bacon. The pan is super hot, so all I'm gonna do, I'm gonna prove to you guys that the heat source is the pan and not the induction cooktop itself. So all I'm gonna do with no cuts, is gonna take this pan, put it down, and put my hand right on the element and see what happens. Put that there. It shut off, but <coughs> it's kind of funny. <laughs> it's because I wasn't actually cooking it for a long time. I tested out my plate. Good thing I was gonna put my face on it too. I cooked the pancake way too fast. Okay, so now got our chocolate chip pancake maple syrup. It's quite watery. All right, so let's dig in. We got it on 600 watts. We're gonna be making lunch. Gonna have some grilled cheese and some chicken noodle soup, making it all on here. So currently I'm at 44% on my solar generator. I'll update you guys what it is after I'm done cooking and eating. All right, look at that. We got a nice grilled cheese. Damn, I wish I brought some ketchup, but whew, that's hot. I'm not too much of a fan of the broth, so I like to just empty some of that out. 
get that in there. This three piece set that I got comes with a cup, a plate and a snap together bowl. Lightweight, compact. <sighs> this one snaps together in a bowl. They have a cup and a plate. All right, this chicken noodle soup is boiling up, so we're gonna take that off. We started out at 42%, we're now at 35%. Tastes like soup, it's hot, did the job. Well, let's move on to supper. This time I'm gonna be using a cast iron pan. All right, so we got our steak and shrimp. Mmm. That tastes so good. And our shrimp, awesome. Though there is not many, let's take a look at the cons. First thing to notice is that the buttons are extended beyond the cooktop. So if you are cooking at very high heats with oil, grease could potentially splatter onto the buttons, potentially melting the surface and frying them. Other than that, I've searched up tons of reviews and looked on their site, but I honestly couldn't find anything. The only thing I was able to list was something that I just completely made up that could potentially be an issue, but I haven't seen anything about it. But actually there is one thing that could deter you from this product, and that is the price, which comes out to 158 Canadian dollars or 116 US dollars. But do take note that I did purchase their specific pan with it, but you could use any cast iron, steel pan, or induction cooktop specific pans like this one. But I just wanted one specific pan for this specific element. So that brings us to the question, who would I recommend this product for? I think this product would mainly be for anyone who does off-grid living in a van, home, or RV, and wants to safely cook inside without harmful chemicals or gases, especially if they have children or pets running around, that way they don't burn themselves if the cooktop is left unoccupied. And especially for the people who want to use the least amount of energy on your power consumption for your off-grid living. This cooktop is best suitable for one meal at a time and has every single feature that I could think of and so much more. But with all that being said, I'll have affiliate links below and hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell to stay updated on gear reviews related to outdoors like this. So let me know what pieces of gear you would like to see in the giveaway. And if you're interested in the device that I use to power this induction cooktop in the video, I'll have a review on that right here. And I hope to see you guys in the next video.